So the last time that I filmed this video and I worked with Dreamweaver CS5, one of the issues that we had working with Joomla inside of Dreamweaver was that we had 140 odd files that would show up here in this list across the top of the page, including like 25 variations of index.php and a whole bunch of other things that loaded. And that's just reflecting the nature of Joomla. Joomla itself is built over several little files that are located all over the file structure that are brought together within this root level index.php file, among other places, and that are put together to display on on your website. Dreamweaver was simply reflecting all of the little bits and pieces required to put together a Joomla web page. In this latest version, Dreamweaver CS6, it's doing a little bit more filtering for us by default, which is a really good thing because you don't want to be editing just any file inside of Joomla. Joomla is built so that it has a bunch of core level files that you should never ever touch. There are ways of working with these core level files that if there's code there, you need to change. There are ways of doing that. So take a look at my template overrides and my layout overrides videos, and I'll walk you through how you can change things inside of Joomla if you need to. And in terms of its functionality, you can always write another extension or edit the extensions that are there. Take a look at Joe LeBlanc's video on editing extensions with Joomla 1.7 and 2.5. So the next thing then is what can I edit safely here inside of Joomla using Dreamweaver? The answer to that question is it needs to be in your templates folder. That is what you can edit. And of course, what's in your templates folder, what are actually the files that are relevant to you? Well, over here under Kinetico, these are the files that are relevant to you. The CSS, the images files, and any of the files that appear here. Even these JavaScript files that you see here listed across the top, these are part of Joomla's core. And if you want to override them, you can always put them into your Joomla templates folder and work with the JavaScript there and make whatever alterations or additions that you need. Don't edit the core files inside of Joomla. So to get to the files that you can actually edit, there is a filter feature here inside of Dreamweaver. And by default, it's showing you the CSS files and the JavaScript files. You can turn off the JavaScript. That will cut you down to just your CSS files, which is a wonderful thing. You can actually filter this even more. There's a custom filter setting. So you could come up with some sort of file name convention that would only show the file names that you wanted to see using this filtering capability. So that exists here for you. The way I am going to work with this template and with these files here going forward, in my previous Joomla creating and editing custom templates video, I've always worked in Firefox. And I've always worked using the web developer toolbar and editing CSS on the side of the page. The disadvantage to doing this is that it's very hard to see what code I'm typing. So this time around in this course, I'm actually going to be using this Dreamweaver interface to edit my index.php file, the one associated with the template, not the core index.php file that I'm not supposed to edit. And I'm gonna be editing the style sheets that are here inside of Joomla as well. So what I'm gonna show you is how I'm gonna set up that editing environment now. So here inside of my Kinetico folder, which is inside of templates, you'll find the index.php file. And by the way, I should mention, if you are working with Dreamweaver and you don't see this files panel over here on the side, you can always get it by going to window files and that panel will show up over here on the side of the screen. Double click on index.php. This is your template file. See, the code should look familiar to you at some level. This is gonna be the page that I'm going to edit. Now, the disadvantage is that I've got an index.php that's open here, and now I have an index.php that's open here. But in the end, this index.php is really just showing me what the web page is looking like. And it's questionable how valuable that is. Of course, this is through Dreamweaver's editing screen which you can never really trust for how something is gonna look in the web browser. Remember, the only way that you know how something is gonna look in a web browser is by looking at it in a web browser. So open it up in Firefox, open it up in Chrome, open it up in Safari or Internet Explorer if you wanna see that. This is helpful as a quick peek to see what's going on, but I'm certainly not gonna rely on it. But my index.php associated with my template, this is valuable for editing any code here that I need to edit. And I'm also going to make sure that I open up my custom CSS file, 
I'm going to have that open in a tab as well. Now, this will give me some nice big text so that you can see it in the video, what I'm typing in and what order I'm typing it in. And then we can put this in a web browser and view it from here. So Dreamweaver can be helpful as a tool for editing your Joomla websites. As long as you use it correctly, don't edit any of the core files. Any of the files that you edit should be located inside of your templates folder. Make sure you're editing the right index.php, the one that's in your templates folder, not the one that's in the root of the website. And feel free to edit any CSS, JavaScript, or the index.php that's in those templates folders. Just don't edit anything else from your Joomla website if you're choosing to use Dreamweaver in this way.